Hey, Psych2Go fam. Thanks again so much for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's goal is to make mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. How do you receive love from another person? As children, we learn from our parents, our siblings, and our partners how to receive their love. But we don't always receive love in healthy ways. Many people think you have to earn love from others, so they develop unhealthy behaviors. They may please or accommodate their partners just to earn their love. This is called the pleaser love style. If you think you're the pleaser in your relationship, here are nine signs of the pleaser love style that might describe you. One, you want to be everything. Do you want to be everything for your partner? A partner, a confidant, a best friend, all wrapped up in one? You want to be their number one across the board in every category. Otherwise, you don't feel loved. In fact, you may feel rejected or inadequate when your partner relies on someone else, even their own family members. If this sounds familiar, you have the pleaser love style. Two, you always apologize first. In a relationship, pleasers avoid conflict as often as possible. If you and your partner get in a fight, you may apologize immediately just to make your partner feel better. The problem is when you appease your partner, you're neglecting your own emotional needs. At the moment, your apology might throw water on the fire, but meaningless apologies create neglect and resentment, not love. Three, you text your partner constantly. How often do you text your partner? Do you check in on them constantly throughout the day? Most couples feel pressured to talk constantly when one partner has the pleaser love style. They get anxious and uncomfortable when their partner is out of reach. They worry that something is going wrong and get nervous when their partner needs personal space Pleasers can be worrisome and clingy, even if their heart is in the right place. Four, you lie to protect your partner. Do you lie to protect your partner's feelings? This one is very common for the pleaser love style, but it can do lasting damage to any relationship. Pleasers change their opinions to make their partners feel better or spare their partner's feelings. Pleasers have good intentions, but their white lies cover up their true feelings. Over time, Pleasers may feel like their partner doesn't really know them. If you have the pleaser love style, you may avoid negative feelings for years, which creates emotional distance between you and your partner. Five, you feel rejected often. Do you often feel rejected by your partner? In a loving relationship, pleasers feel a consistent sense of rejection and abandonment. Every time their partner chooses to spend time with their friends, they feel rejected. Every time their partner ignores a text while they're at work, they feel rejected. For a pleaser, these little things are like arrows through the heart. You may be scared your partner is gonna forget you or stop loving you. That's why when little things go wrong, you feel like you've been rejected. Six, you hesitate to break up. How did your last relationship end? Did you cling to your ex even though you knew the relationship with them was toxic? Pleasers have trouble giving up on anyone. You always maintain hope that things will improve, but that hope puts you in a painful position. You may find yourself trapped in an unhealthy relationship. So spend a few minutes reflecting on your past partners. If you dragged your feet towards the end of the relationship, you may be a pleaser. Seven, you do all the work. Who does most of the work in your relationship? Many pleasers carry 90% of the load in their relationships. As a pleaser, you always reach out. You suggest every date. If you weren't pushing the relationship forward, the relationship would have died a long time ago. If this sounds like you, you have the pleaser love style. Pleasers overburden themselves to improve their relationships. Pleasers commit so much of their time and effort, even if their partner isn't at all interested. Eight, your partner decides everything. Pleasers prioritize their partner's happiness over their own so they wanna do everything their partner wants to do. This shows through small activities like going out to eat. You may rely on your partner to choose every restaurant because you want your partner to be happy. And like most of the items on this list, your intentions are good, but one person should never make all the decisions in a relationship, even the small ones. And nine, you strive to be perfect. Do you try to be the perfect partner? Pleasers change their preferences and personalities to make sure their partner is as happy as possible. But this is harmful because they lose their sense of self and who they are in the process. 
You may want to be the perfect partner, but the right person for you wants to be with you and likes you for who you are. Have you ever dated someone with the pleaser love style? Or have you done any of these things in your relationships? Tell us your experiences in the comment section below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching.